It has been just over one year since the murder of 39-year-old Greg Sluage. My team and I are seeking the assistance of the public to help us solve this investigation. As the case manager in charge of overseeing the investigation into Greg's death, today I am providing some previously unreleased details of this murder. Back in 2017, Greg rented the property at 1864 Scotch Corners Road in the town of Beckwith. This property is a former meat packing facility that Greg had converted into a legal marijuana growing operation. On the morning of Thursday, September 24, 2020, Ontario Provincial Police Lanark County officers responded to a 911 call at 1864 Scotch Corners Road. It was at this location where they discovered the body of Greg Sluage. Greg had sustained blunt force injuries consistent with some type of hard object. We are looking to identify and recover that object or objects. My team and I have learned that prior to Greg's death, a dark colored sedan was observed entering onto the property at 1864 Scotch Corners Road. It was evident there were no signs of forced entry. My investigators and I believe the suspect or suspects may have been wearing construction type work boots, similar to the one in the photo provided. It was known that Greg was involved with outlaw motorcycle gangs. As we know, the community safety threats posed by outlaw motorcycle gangs are ongoing and throughout Ontario. We're also told Greg was a very private person with a small circle of friends. Greg was a father, a brother, and a son. Greg's family is aware and supports this multimedia approach my team and I are utilizing in an attempt to bring them resolution. Beginning tomorrow, Friday, October 15th, you will see my team of investigators seeking information about this murder, canvassing local homes and businesses within our communities with pamphlets like this. We have also created a dedicated tip line for this investigation. The number for this tip line is 1-844-478-5656. Within our communities, you will see this brightly colored van with its strongly worded question of, who killed Greg Sluage? As you can see, the images on the van will direct viewers to the Ontario Provincial Police East Region Twitter and Facebook pages. It is at these online sites where videos about this investigation will be posted. I encourage everyone to view these videos. If you have any information, no matter how insignificant it may seem, please access the site and forward your tips by phone or email. Together, we will generate more information for this ongoing investigation. The Ontario Provincial Police is offering a $50,000 reward for anyone with information leading to the arrest and conviction of the person or persons responsible for Greg's murder. As the superintendent has stated, my team and I will thoroughly investigate every tip and lead that comes in. Again, to help find Greg's family resolu find resolution, I urge you to call the dedicated tip line. Or, if you wish to remain anonymous, call Crime Stoppers at one 800 222 Seven, seven, or visit online at crimestoppers.ca. Through this use of social media, anyone with information can access these sites from anywhere at any time. I would encourage viewers to share the links on their social media pages with their friends, family, and followers, perhaps through dedicated community or memory pages. Now, most importantly, I want to speak directly to those who are involved in committing this crime. Now is the time for you to come forward. I would encourage you to contact your lawyer and turn yourself in to the nearest Ontario Provincial Police Detachment or your local police service.